Hiya, my lovelies. How are you all doing? Well, this morning I've been out in the car and I've been out to the Dogs Trust at Evesham and made a donation. And uh, uh, in exchange for my donation, they've given me some lovely presents. So let me show you what I've got. So in exchange for my donation, I've got this lovely bag. Isn't it nice? It's a lovely Hessian bag, shopping bag, bag for life. But that's not all. Inside this bag, they've given me this really weird looking container and what's natural pet food don't know about that dog dog food bag of dog food more dog food and a dog lead and look what else came free Look what else came free. This is my friend Milo and he's come to live with me. Isn't it exciting? He's so gorgeous, isn't he? So, uh, this was the reason for Bun Bun as well. <laughs> Bun Bun is Milo's new best friend and companion. So the mystery is solved. I had to make sure that Bun Bun smelled of home. So as you can see, Milo's already on sentry duty. He's on guard dog duty, making himself right at home here. Aren't you Milo? Milo! Good boy, good boy. So now you can see why I've been a little bit quiet lately. Now, uh, lovely Milo um, has needed lots and lots of training and association to be able to come home with me. I've had to do lots of work with him um, because Milo has a personality disorder. Um, you see, he looks like a papillon. He looks cute and fluffy, but he thinks he's a Rottweiler. He doesn't tolerate uh, strangers and especially men. So I ask if any of you see me out with Milo um, in the next few weeks and months, um, please don't approach us uh, because he's likely to show aggression. So, um, or at least make your presence felt from a distance first so um, we don't have any accidents and have any, you know, setbacks. So there we are. So, um, yeah, Milo it is. Right, I'm off to play um, and do a little bit more training, so I'll catch you all later. So be good, stay safe everyone, and from me and Bilo, bye!